you could change any choices you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Holographist Coach, Christine McIver. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show today. I hope you are joining me live. If you're not, I hope you're joining me in the podcast. Wherever you are is cool. Totally cool. If you are joining live, would love to have you jump into the chat room or and or call in as well and have a conversation with me today about today's show. So today we're talking about our time is now. How many of you out there consider yourself a conscious leader? How about we even start with how many out there consider yourself conscious? that you are a conscious being in the world, that you are doing your work. And my question is, are you doing your work in a way that allows other people to know the work that you are doing? Hmm. So many of us are not actually stepping up into being the conscious leader that we know we should be. And now is the time, my friends. The reality is so in our face, right? That being hyper-present is critical to our survival. We know that from a physical perspective. If you are listening to the podcast, it is April the 8th, 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. And it's it's my time now. It's our time now. I'm ready for the next step. I'm ready to step up big time. And sometimes it scares the hell out of me. Do you know that this is your time? This is what you have been preparing for your entire life? Do you know that? Are you ready for that? Are you ready to take that step forward or are you still hesitating? What does that look like in your world? It's interesting, you know, a lot of times when we talk about being a conscious leader, we often will turn and we will look to the people that maybe are more in the forefront, um, in on TV, in the newspapers, you know, on the Internet, all over the place, doing big conferences with thousands and thousands of people, people in the audience. That's not necessary in order to call yourself a conscious leader. So let me tell you what a conscious leader looks like so you can see if this is actually you. If you all, if you are ready to know this and if you are ready to claim it. So first of all, what does it mean to be conscious? Do we know that definition? Conscious is a state of being aware of what passes in one's own mind. State of being aware of anything. How aware are you being with your consciousness? To be conscious is to, to be aware, to be thoroughly aware, to be very present with what is going on to take into consideration all aspects of what's going on around us, what's going on around our individual selves. Today, Rhonda Burns and her friend and guest, Anna, did a show, and it was, it was an absolutely fabulous show where they were talking about the me. Getting to me helps to take care of the we. And it, it's so important, that message that they were speaking to was, was fantastic because if you're not taking care of you, Ana Hernando, sorry, I couldn't remember her, for her last name, uh, focusing on me facilitates healing the we. And if you're not focusing on you, all right, you are not, first of all, being conscious. And I'll tell you why. Because when you are focusing on you in a way that you're checking in with your thoughts, you're checking in with um, your emotions, you're checking in with continually choosing to evolve 
if you're not doing that, you're not being conscious of yourself, first of all, all right? You cannot go out to the world and be a conscious leader if you are not first focusing on your own consciousness, on your own thoughts, on your own creations, all right? In order for you to take action, for you to be active with what you know and to contribute to the world, you must become conscious of oneself. To become a leader in the world, so you, 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 you've been doing your work, you are paying attention to your thoughts, you're paying attention to the direction of what you're creating your life to look like and not shying away from the tough stuff. I mean, how many days, how many times have any of you had days where you just wanted to run away from your emotions, run away from your thoughts, run away from all of the places and spaces where you just didn't think you could get through. And you avoided them. I mean, there are so many people avoiding right now. They are numbing themselves with, you know, Netflix or numbing themselves with, with eating or drinking or just, you know, goofing around instead of utilizing this time. Now, I'm not saying don't take a break. Sometimes you need to take a break from consciousness from being so hyper aware of everything around you. Sometimes it's good to just to unplug and, and to sit back and just breathe, watch something mindless and just let, allow your thoughts to go to sleep for a while while you're just hanging out, all right? Because to be a very conscious person, it's, it can be incredibly exhausting. But you know that you came here for this time. You know, I'll tell you how you know you came here for this time. How, how much have you got a calmness that's within you at this moment in time and space and what's going on on earth? You have a lot of empathy. You had a, have a lot of care for what is occurring in people's lives and the losses that people are having. Yes. But how many of you have a calmness and at moments, even a joyfulness that's going on because you are watching everyone slow down. You're watching everybody take a collective responsibility in caring for one another and people beginning to really look at what they are doing and being in the world. We're coming away from making money the center of everything that we do. We don't have a big, big choice in most instances, but to slow down and really look at being present with our own thoughts, with our own creations, and possibly looking to doing something different. You're a conscious leader if you have something inside of you that is, is wanting to come out, that you have something that you know the world needs to hear. It, you watch other people and you want to step up and you want to say, hang on a second. What you're doing right now is harming you. What you're doing right now is missing the bigger picture of the amazingness that you truly are. How many conscious people out there dip their toe in and out when it's comfortable and when it's convenient? And then they turn it off for most of their life because, honestly, it scares the hell out of them. Does it scare the hell out of you to really step in and lean in and be a leader, a conscious leader? That in some instances, you know, people may try to take you down. People may try to judge you. They may try to say you're wrong. How many times are you going to allow other people's thoughts, feelings, choices to stop you from what you absolutely know is true for you in this moment. To be a conscious leader is to choose beyond what everyone else thinks. To be a conscious leader is to follow your knowing. Follow your gut reactions. Please, we need you. The earth needs you. 
The people of earth need you now more than ever. It is time for you to trust. You came here. You came into body. And I can tell you, you chose to come here. And I'll tell you why I know you chose to come here. <laughs> you know, there are some people out there and what everybody believes, I am completely fine with what everybody believes. But here's what I believe and know deeply in my core is there is no half, half asked creation. Okay. Your parents didn't just have sex and you just didn't pop out. All right. It, that is just too easy. Look around the planet. Look around and look at all of the amazing, amazing, mind-blowing creations here on the planet. Look at the most amazing animals and the, the kindness and the consciousness of the animals in the world. Look at how they interact with each other. Look how they love and support each other, even still while being animals where they, where they have prey. All right? There is no coincidences. There's no haphazard in any of the creations on the earth. So why would there be a haphazard creation with you? You chose to come to this place at this time in space. You chose to be here. And somewhere in your knowing, whenever I'm saying that, you're getting a confirmation, aren't you? Hands up, everybody in the chat room. How many of you are saying, yes, I chose to be here at this time in space? <laughs> Here's the thing, my friends. It may not be obvious to you why you chose to come at this time in space. It may actually even scare the crap out of you. You may still be going, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That's okay. That's okay. There's still so many things within me that I am I'm looking at. Where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? It, you know, I've been doing this. <laughs> I have been self-employed now for 12 years, I think it is. And I've been on the radio for, you know, 10 years. I've been talking about consciousness and choice and inspiration for as long as I can remember. And I know that's been at the heart of who I am. But there's still a lot of questions within me. And that's okay. The questions actually continue to stir me, to continue to have me reach forward. Questions are wonderful. If you think that anybody out there who you deem a conscious leader had it all figured out and had the manual, you know, when they were, <laughs> before they began their journey, you're wrong. You came here to not only lead, but also to unfold into your best self. So for all of you listening that you feel lost, that's okay. That's okay. If you can begin right here, right now to acknowledge that you chose to come and that you desire deeply to contribute, that's a, the very first big step. That's the very first big step. If you desire to make a contribution in the world, if you desire to leave a legacy, if you desire to care for the planet, desire to care for the animals of the planet, desire to care for others in the world, you are a conscious leader. But here's the catch. You've got to step up. You have got to lean into being that leader. And that doesn't mean that you suddenly, you know, have to get speaking gigs on, on big stages with hundreds of thousands of people. You begin with you. You begin one step at a time. And you begin to start to look at what it is that you know. As you start to go within and ask those questions, ask plenty, plenty of questions and continue to take a step and a step and a step, it will be unfolded to you what you came here deliberately to create. But the catch, my friends, is you've got to take action. You've got to begin to take action in every day in order for it to come forth. And so many of us have been doing it the other way around. 
that we've been waiting for the big, you know, lightning strike <laughs> to show us. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but this coronavirus feels like the big lightning strike for the collective, for all of us. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear what's going on with you. What is being, what, what are you being pulled to? Where do you feel lost? What do you need support with? We're going to go to our first break of the show. And when we get back, we're going to dive into all of that. If you're in the chat room, I would love to take your questions or please feel free to call in in the U.S. 815-880-8255 in Canada. 613-800-8736, or you can Skype us at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. My friends, I'm so glad that you're here tonight. You know, I I didn't even know everything that this show wanted me to to present, to say, but I absolutely had this strong knowing that I had to step in. I had to speak to this topic it was asking me to. And the one thing that I'm so grateful for, I've gotten over knowing exactly in advance what needs to be said. I've gotten over that. And I allow myself to deliver what comes through in the moment. Not always comfortable, but at the end of the shows, it's always amazing to me how that willingness to receive in the moment and be present starts to change everything. So we're going to go for our first break. You are listening to Inspired Choices with myself, Christy McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Network radio show at network. And um, tonight we're talking about our time is now. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815 880 8255. Canada, 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. All right. Tonight, we're talking about our time is now. Do you recognize that you are a conscious leader you desire to be a conscious leader and you're kind of hesitating on stepping forward or not really knowing how to step forward or when to step forward or if it will make sense to step forward, right? You know what? When you go into those questions, is now the time or how am I going to do this? Anytime you start asking these how questions and you, you have that hesitation come in, Know that that is your mind. That's not your knowing. All right? 
that is your mind, it's not your knowing. The, the, the really important thing to note here is that consciousness is, it, it unfolds within your choices and your actions. All right? When you spend time with you and you, you begin to meditate, you begin to, maybe you are uh, automatic writing and you allow space with your thoughts and you allow what wants to come through, come through, and it begins to stir you. Or you are watching something or listening to something and you get a, a really big aha within you or your stomach just goes, yes. You know, there's something that says, oh my gosh, I really want that to be me. I want to do that. When you have that, whether it's a small whisper or it's a loud roar, all right, that's when you take the action. That's that's the nudges from the universe to step, to step, to step. And as you take a step, you will get another nudge. All right? You will not, I can guarantee you, you will not have your steps laid out to you so simply that you don't have to think. You won't. <laughs> because that's not what it is to be a conscious leader. To be conscious is to be present. So let me ask you, my friends, how many of you have more excuses? How many of you have been talking about stepping up to be a leader? How many of you have been using excuses around one day I'm going to? Have you been using excuses around, I'm, I want to write a book, or I, I want to have a radio show, or I want to begin to create you know, something, blah, blah, blah. If you have heard yourself doing that, please know that that as well is your mind. You are not being present with your knowing. Let me ask you this. What the hell do you have to lose now? What do you have to lose now? We are at a time and space in the universe where you have more time than you know what to do with. I'm getting people messaging me. I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm, you know, I'm getting uncomfortable. It's like, whoa, hang on. Unless you are hooked up to a ventilator, my friends, you have choices. You have choices. And remember, you chose to come to this time and space. You chose to be here. No more excuses. The excuses need to be gone. You cannot continue to run away when everything has been lined up so beautifully for you to be to stop, to be present, and to check in with your knowing. You know, I'll tell you something. Meditating for me has never been something that has come easily, comfortably, um, with, without concern or excitement. When I use the word meditation, it, you know, there's still this old thing that goes, oh my God, I have to sit still and try to like quiet my mind, which I successfully do for about 30 seconds. And then I start to get super, super distracted, right? And yes, I know that you can develop that. And I know that, you know, I have developed it so I can go much longer than 30 seconds. For me, I meditate in a different way. I will spend a lot of time in quiet. I will spend a lot of time doing different tasks that are meditative to me, whether it is, you know, washing the dishes and just taking my time and being present. And that when I get present with that and I'm very quiet, that's where I start to tap into my knowing. Um, one of the things that I love to do is I love to drive. And when I drive, I'm usually in the car without the radio on. And I'm usually very present in that moment because I have to be, right? When I'm driving, I have to be very, very present. And for me, that is another meditative exercise. And that's when I can become incredibly present. That's when I can become connected more to my consciousness, to my knowing. 
I've also, over the years, developed a very um, strong ability to know when to take action. And I'm still learning and growing in that area as well. Like, please know that if you're waiting for you to have the complete information on how to do something, you are going to wait forever. Because that's not going to happen. You are not going to have it all figured out and then have the um, inspiration to take action. And I tell you, I know people who were very inspiring, who were absolutely on the path to being conscious leaders, who kept hesitating, who kept using excuses, who talked themselves right out of stepping up into the life that they knew that they were they came here to be please my friends don't allow that that doubt don't allow the doubt to drive that in you doubt is a companion to inspiration did you know that doubt pops up over and over and over again as you become inspired. And it is just part of the process. Doubt is there for you to turn and look at it and go, hell no. You've got to claim what you know. You've got to claim it. And you've got to start to step into it. We need you. There are people in the world that are looking for the voice that you have, for the knowing that you have. They are looking to read your book. They are looking to read your blog. They are looking for the for the podcast, the radio show, the TV show. They are looking for you right now. There are so many people in the world, can you not feel this, that are aching. They they they're looking. They're they're like they're so lost. They're like blind right now because their world has collapsed in on them. They don't know where to go. They don't know who to ask. They, 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 they literally are, you know, like mice on a treadmill, just going each day and going, I, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's next. But that's not true. That is absolutely not true. You may not have the job that you had, but that doesn't mean you don't still have choice. You may not have the ability to go, uh, you know, travel around the world. But that doesn't mean you still don't have choice. You can travel around the world on the Internet. You can take that time right now to create what you've constantly been pushing off. If that still speaks to you, what if you actually sat down every day for a week and you spent one hour, you spent one hour in creation and you looked yourself in the mirror and said, enough is enough, step up. Stop giving any lip service to any more excuses that are going on in your head. My friends, time is going fast. I absolutely cannot believe how fast time is happening. We have been here on the network. We're in our fourth year with Inspired Choices Network. I am in my 12th year of my own business. I swear to you, it feels like just a couple of years have gone by. Time is speeding up faster and faster and faster. We are being challenged as well as invited. We are the people that came here at this time and space to change the world that was not working. If you think that your world has turned upside down, I want you to imagine if you were around and you were a young man or a young woman anywhere from, you know, 15 to 40 during the First or the Second World War. How upside down would your world have been then? Absolutely, so, so many people had no choice, had no choice, but they had to go to war or they had to go work in companies that were creating things to support the wars, right? But there's another war going on right now, and I don't mean the coronavirus. 
I mean the war of consciousness within you. The war of consciousness is turning up and it's getting louder and louder. So if you are uncomfortable, if you are incredibly emotional, if one minute you feel massively inspired and the next you want to run away, that's the war. But here's the really cool thing. You have the ability to choose and you can start to really drive that energy, calm the war, but harness the energy and drive it forward. You, my friend, have so much available to you that more than likely most of us have not even been looking at. The power of your voice, the power of your choice, begins to impact the entire world uh, within you and around you. One small choice can start to change everything in your world. Ask yourself, what, what inspires me? What do I want to bring to the world? What do I wish that I can contribute? Start there. Start there. Start to make a list. Start to spend some time with yourself and hold yourself accountable. Here's a very cool thing that I learned a long time ago. You know, when you're self-employed and you work solo from home, you have to hold yourself accountable. It is, it's not always easy. And I can tell you in the very beginning, it was so incredibly easy to be distracted. Oh, the dishes need to be done. Oh, the laundry needs to be done. Oh, you know, this, that. Oh, I got to go to errands or, or family knows, well, she's at home. You know, she doesn't really have a job. She can do whatever she needs to do at another time, right? And so many people have actually not been able to succeed because they've allowed that distraction to drive them. And therefore, they were not able to be successful working from home, all right? There are, you know, a lot of companies out there right now that um, prior to the coronavirus coming on board that had some people working from home, and but they were monitoring them. I know people that actually had um, a system set up to their phone that their phone was being monitored, and, and it, they had to be on the phone so many hours a day, and they had a system that they could actually check to see how, how long they were working on their phone. You know, there are people that are being held accountable to being logged in and active on different websites from their employer because their employer wants to know that they're working. Well, you know, I've often said if you were your employer and you were the employee, would you fire you because you're not holding yourself accountable? It's not easy in the beginning. It's not easy. But here's the thing. You came here on your own and you came here with a mission a target with consciousness you know if you're listening to this show you absolutely know what i'm saying is true for you you came here to change and to contribute and to show people a different possibility of creating a world where actually joy love kindness and possibility could reign free you came here for this, and you know you came here for this. You came here to show people how to be kind to each other. You came here to show people that they can be kind to themselves. You came here to show people that loving yourself is okay. You came here to show people that when the world around you starts to crumble, you have the power within you to step up. But this is completely and totally up to you. Are you ready? Are you ready to take what you know and begin today to create the world that you will be proud to be part of? Are you ready to be the conscious leader in your own life and look yourself in the eye every night and go, you know what? I did it today. I took one more step. I took one more step. I held myself accountable to lean into my knowing. I, 
you know, that excuses came up 10 times today, but the 11th time I squashed it and I took action. This is your time and we, the people of earth, need you. We need what you know. There are so many amazing things that people are stepping into and, and contributing in the world. And, you know, even from getting in their cars and driving by somebody's home that it's their birthday and, and singing happy birthday or waving to them or, you know, balloons on their car and celebrating someone else. That just brings me to tears when I see that. There are amazing things going on in the world. There's 8 billion people here. We've been really messing this thing up called being on earth. There has been way too many people hungry, way too many people sad, way too many people feeling lost and alone, scared. We need you here. We need you to step up. And while you may feel like there's plenty of people stepping up, there's somebody looking for you. If there's even a little twinge within you that says, I want to speak to this. I want to, I want to write this. I want to show up and talk about this. If there's just even a little twinge, when you see something, you know, on the internet and you want to respond, but you hesitate because you're worried about what someone says, there's always going to be somebody that's going to say something. Always. There he is. Because they're scared too. But you can lead the way and you can say, that's okay. That's all right. This is how I feel. And I'm going to put my message out. And you don't have to agree with me. That's all right. The opportunity is available to everyone to speak up. The opportunity is available to everyone to share what they know. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to have more possibilities in the world because of you? Are you ready to be the contribution that you know you can be, even in the midst of not having a clue what you're going to say, what you're going to do? Are you ready to take that crazy idea that you have and choose it anyways? We're going to take our second break of the show. I've been on a roll here, and I didn't even know whether I took the second break or not. That's what happens when inspiration is flowing through you. My friends, you're listening to tonight on the Inspired Choices radio show. We are talking about our time is now. I would love to hear your thoughts, hear your comments, because together we are changing the world and creating what we know is truly, truly possible. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with Holographist Coach Christine McIver, You'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you ready to have pleasure with your business? Yes, I said pleasure with your business. The pleasure of business a la carte will surprise you with topics like meet yourself in the boardroom, money, services, and you. Expand your visibility. The pleasure of communication. The pleasure of Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Christine McIver has so much pleasure with business and loves teaching all things business. Beginning a new business, Desiring to expand a current business or looking to resurrect a business that has been dormant? This program will get you fired up and bring more pleasure than you have ever imagined. 
Exhausted with your excuses for not creating a phenomenal business? Join now for all the pleasure with business. Pleasure of Business a la carte gives you total choice for what you desire and what your business requires. That's 24 weeks of different topics to choose from with weekly calls, audio and video recordings, and PDFs. This class will have you dive right in and use tools to create the business that has been speaking to you. Go to inspiredchoices.ca for full details or join the Facebook page, Pleasure of Business a la carte. Now is the time for you and your business. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. We are talking tonight about our time is now. And you know that you are being pulled to step up. You know that you are being pulled to be the conscious leader in the world. You know that you are if A, you are listening to this show as a pretty obvious one, okay? B, you're standing on the sidelines, find yourself standing on the sidelines repeatedly watching other conscious leaders and going, gosh, I wish that would be me. If C, you keep getting inspirational ideas with nobody around, that they just start to come through you. And then when you go to take a step, you you rescind, you pull back. You know that you are a conscious leader in a world of doubt. There are more people on the planet in doubt of their abilities, in doubt of what they know, than there are people that are not. And here is the crazy thing, that you, my friend, as a conscious leader that has been practicing even a little bit about being present with your own thoughts, okay, you are picking up on other people's thoughts. You can, you can go on the internet and you can find lots and lots of information about this, but the fact of the matter is, is energy is everywhere, thoughts are in energy, and we are sharing it just like we do the air. Okay, so let's just cut through that right now. You are picking up other people's thoughts and emotions. You are picking those up and because they are coming in your head, you think they're yours and they are not all yours. Now, you you can buy that, you know, an excuse or a doubt is yours. Okay, cool. Are you really going to allow that to stop you from creating the world that you desire? Really? What if you were to look at your children? Look at your children or look at the children that you adore, even if you don't have your own, and ask yourself, what is their world going to be like if I don't step up? What if somebody misses what I know should be done, should be shared? What will their world look like if I don't say, wait a second, this needs to change. Hang on a second. I don't agree with that. I think we need to consider this. We need to consider that. You know, I am not a political person. Um, it does not interest me. Um, over the last couple of years, I've learned more and more about politics. Still isn't my big favorite go-to subject, but I, I do know that I need to be m more aware of what's going on in our world so I can contribute possibly in more ways. And one of the people that I absolutely love 
um, that has a completely different perspective on politics who was laughed at tremendously when she first stepped up was Marianne Williamson. And you do not have to to agree with her political party when she chooses. But if you were to listen to Marianne and what she believes in the way that we need to be creating and being in politics in the world today for everyone, it will, I would, I would venture a guess that it will stir you. Marianne Williamson is a phenomenal example of someone who knows what she knows and is not afraid to be laughed at on an international level. Because you see, my friends, when you know something, it is like breathing air. It's true for you. You know it is. And that's what this is for Marianne. Now, I met Marianne a number of years ago, and she she was a strong woman then, yes, but she wasn't as leaned into uh, her voice as she is today. Everyone grows. Everyone's ability grows if they choose to keep leaning into it, to keep working with it, okay? You do not have to have your voice completely perfected. You do not have to have your message completely prepared to begin. But what I can guarantee you of, my friends, if you don't begin, you will never have your voice strong in the world. You will never have your message heard in the world if you don't begin. And having your message strong in the world and impacting and being a conscious leader, you could be a conscious leader with 10 people. And those 10 people could be inspired by what you are being and doing and choosing and saying and creating. And those 10 people could then inspire 10 people. This is not about you needing to be on a large stage, on a large platform. This is about you choosing to lean into what you know. And if you're not choosing to lean into what you know, then why the hell are you here? Yep, I said it. Why are you here? Are you really going to just be a robot? You see, that's exactly what's changing in the world right now, is people are no longer able to be robots. And that's why there's so many people uncomfortable and quote-unquote bored because they have been brought to their knees and it's time they have to look at what's going on in their thoughts. They have to look at the choices that they have made and what an opportunity. There are so many um, governments that are stepping up and supporting people in some financial ways while we're in this lockdown around the world. This is an opportunity to begin to create. And and maybe you're going to go back to your full-time job. That's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But maybe simultaneously, you can begin to lean into that consciousness, to lean into that leadership of who you want to be in the world in a different way than you were prior to the lockdown. What if you started something today and the person beside you started something and so on and so on and collectively around the world, we all started to lean into this consciousness and to lean into our choices. What will our world look like? It will be very, very different if each and every one of us begins to lean into this leadership in a new way where we don't allow the naysayers to shut us down. We don't allow the quote-unquote leaders or, or bigwigs or people with all of the money that are making all of the choices. We don't allow them to be the only voice speaking to what we know needs to be changed. You think that you are just some person from some little place. You're not. You are a miracle. What it took for you to actually come through and come into a body and to be present and to still be alive in this time and space is a miracle. 
please don't waste that miracle. Please bring what you know to the surface. Tell us. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you know. Share your thoughts. Begin to share your thoughts. Allow your thoughts to be contributed because they're only coming from you. If you hold back on what you know and you hold back on being a conscious leader in the world, we all miss out. You know, I used to think that there were so many people out there doing what I do. And I know today that, yes, there are many people that that desire to be an inspiration in the world as I do. But nobody is going to do it the way I do it. Nobody is going to say it the way I'm going to say it. Nobody is going to be the energy that I be that attracts you listening to me right here, right now. We have so many fabulous people here on the Inspired Choices Network that have their own radio shows and podcasts. And we have well over 5,000 podcasts in our library. And that's growing every single day, which is so phenomenal. I, I, I actually just pinch myself. I can barely believe that, that we've gotten to this point. But you know why we've gotten to this point? Because I made a choice one day and I said yes. I said yes and I followed my body getting so excited. You see, that's how I know for me when I need to make a choice is my body gets really excited. And I made a choice to start speaking in the world. And my first radio show, oh my gosh, it was such a shit show. I cried for the first 15 minutes because I was just above um, uh, myself in, in emotions and not knowing what to do. And I still continue to step forward. You see, because there's something in me that is constantly saying more. You know something more. Keep talking. Keep going. Keep going. Another step. Another step. Another step. My friend, collectively, If 1% more of the population steps forward and begins to add their voice to the consciousness and begins to be the leader within themselves that they are desiring to be, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, you can be absolutely sure that our world is going to be more amazing than it already is. You see, I believe we have a fabulous world, and I believe that there are fabulous things going on all around the world all the time, and I know that this right here, right now, is the opportunity for us to exponentialize all of those things if we choose it. Please, please lean in. Please choose it. If you need some support, if you need some guidance, if you just need somebody to bat ideas around, I am your girl. I love working with people. I love showing them what I get when I speak to them, to give them an inspiration to make a choice. What about this? Have you ever thought about this? What about this? And it honestly will come through different for each person. Please reach out to me. I have plenty, plenty, plenty of time to speak to you, and so do you. You can connect with me. Send me an email, Christine at inspiredchoices.ca. You and I'll connect on Zoom. We'll have a quick conversation, and we will be the inspiration in the world together. I would love to hear from you, my friends. And if you are ready to bring your voice, this platform is looking for conscious leaders. I would love to tell you all about what it looks like to have a radio show, how you will be supported and guided, and all the technology and all the setup will be taken care of for you. My friends, this is a precious time in the world, and you came here. Please never forget this. You came here to contribute in a way no one else could. I adore each and every one of you and know that we are here ready to support your voice and what you know. Until next time, my friends, remember, you can always make another choice. Bye for Thank now. you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Radio Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, Be willing to choose what you really desire. This is your life.
making the choices that bring you all that you